Good day viewers. Today we'll be looking at the magnetic field of a semi circular loop. Now, in my previous video, we looked at the magnetic field of a straight line conductor. That's a magnetic field of a straight line conductor like this, and the current going out through it. Then the resulting magnetic field in this way. Today, we are going to be looking at a situation whereby that magnetic, whereby that straight line conductor has been bent into a semi circular loop. Take, for example, it was a straight line conductor like this, and it's been bent. Our resulting semi cellular loop would be like this. And if current is passed through it, our magnetic field would still be coming through here, would still maintain the right hand rule. But we would find out that the magnetic field felt on a point away from, from these places, from a point away from the loop would be greater and it would be different from this point. If it's straight and we have a point L no, or a point A away from it, we find that this extreme, the magnetic field generated by this extreme, will not have so much impact on it. But if it's on this point, still at distance A from it, all this end would have a greater impact on it. So today we are going to still use Bout Savat's law to derive the equation to calculate the magnetic field that will be felt at the center of a semi-circular loop. Let's get to it. Now, by observed law, the law states that the B equal to mu naught I dl sine phi divided by 4 pi r squared. And take for example, we have a straight line conductor. At this point away, A, our file is always here. That is, our file is the, is the angle between the hypotenuse and the conductor. So, if we have a bent loop like this, which was once a straight line conductor, and a point A, and a point P, distance A away. And from this diagram, we cannot tell that our file is around here, is this angle. So when it meets to this point, this is our file. And what we are asked to derive is the magnetic field at the center of this semi semi circular loop that is why the a is at this point is at this point that's the center of the loop so at the center we would have it that our file is equal to 90 degree that's from this center to this extreme point here so our file is 90 degree then sine file is equal to 1. The length of the semi e loop is pi r. Reason why it's pi r, if this was a full circle, the length would be 2 pi r. But since it's a semi-circle, we've divided 2 pi r by 2, giving, giving us its pi r. So, the L would be equal to pi dr. So, we all know that this point, from point here to here is r. Because we can imagine this as a complete circle. This would be our r here to r and here to r. So, our L is equal to pi r. Our dl will now be equal to pi dr. Now, let's substitute all of this into our equation. We get the B equal to mu naught i dl 
which is pi dr sine phi is 1 divided by 4 pi r multiplied by r. Now, we all know that r times r is square, but here we see that pi r, if we separate like we see that pi r is equal to m. So therefore, the b will be equal to mu naught i pi dr divided by 4 m r. And that is how we get this. So this would now leave us with the b equal to mu naught i pi dr all over 4 l r. So when we get to this point, the b equal to mu naught i r dr 4 l r. We now have to integrate. Integrating the b, we get b. But integrating this now, we're going to use a little trick called a special technique. What we do now is mu naught i pi over 4 l r integral dr. So b would now be equal to mu naught i pi integral of nothing dr would be r all over 4 l r. r goes r goes. So b which is the magnetic field will now become mu naught i pi over 4 l. So the implication of this means that the magnetic field that will be felt by a by an object at the center of this semicircular loop is mu naught multiplied by the current passing through the semicircular loop multiplied by pi divided by 4 multiplied by the length of the full conductor so i hope we all understood how to derive an equation using Biot-Savart law to calculate the magnetic field that would be felt at the center of a semicircular loop. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, drop a like, and leave a comment. Thank you very much.